What is up everyone, StonePost34 bringing you something a little bit different. You know, I've been mulling over this for probably the last week and it's something that concerns me. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna stay as apolitical, non-political as I can here. Um, people are gonna see this as political and if you do, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> leave a dislike, let me know at what point in the video you didn't like it. And if you do like it, like it or unsubscribe, I, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter or share this video if you do like it. Um, you know, I've done a lot of thinking, and um, you guys may or may not know, I'm pretty uh, political. I uh, am very political on my local scene, but I'm not going to talk politics. I'm going to talk about fundamental beliefs and how you, or maybe, well, actually how I, and maybe you, do or do not agree with me on how things should be handled. Um, and I guess what got me thinking about it is this whole Warren Buffett thing with him um, coming out and saying, and then... Um, his secretary pays a higher tax bracket, which is 35% uh, versus what he pays because he makes most of his in income in dividends, which the uh, dividend tax rate's 15%, and saying the inequality in the government tax code. I'm not disagreeing with that. There are definitely inequalities. I think there's inequalities all over. In fact, um, my dad told me early on, Greg, he said, life's not fair, get over it. And life's not fair. You know what? Um, you know, a lot of people have sacrificed their lives for things maybe they should or shouldn't have. And life in general is not fair. That's not the point. <laughs> the point is the fundamental belief uh, that some people have that the government can actually spend our money better than we can. And this is where it gets political. I'm not going to espouse to any political beliefs. I'm just going to tell you what I believe in. If you've, if you've been a sub of mine for a long time... Um, you probably know a little bit about my history. I'm going to just give you a quick glimpse into how I was brought up, what I believe in, and what I was taught as a young kid. This is not really growing up a stone post. I got my first job when I was 11. Um, and this was a real job with a W-2. I was a paper boy. I think I got a W-2. I didn't make enough money to actually um, pay taxes, but I did. I think I had to make over $750 at that time or 500 I didn't make that much, but that was my first job. Shortly after that, my brother and I started our own um, lawn mowing company, landscaping business. Turned it, uh, you know, was the next progression in that. And then um, all through high school, I had a job working retail in college as well. And then um, after college, I went straight into the workforce within days and uh, became a manager of a, a retail company in um, in Kansas and also in Indiana. So I've, I've worked basically since I've been eleven. You know, and I believe in one thing, and I believe in hard work. The, the problem I have with this whole notion that it's not fair that um, Warren Buffett's secretary pays 35%, the difference is people don't understand this. Ordinary income, which is income you get on a W-2, is taxed at a higher rate than what Warren Buffett pays, which is basically most of his income is on dividends. Um, and people believe that this fairness and taxing is it's not fair well i disagree you know people who take dividends in a company i do actually take dividends in my own company i pay myself a salary but i also create jobs i have one employee i've had up to three other employees at one time and i create jobs for them so i guess this inherent idea that the government has the ability to spend my money better than I know how to, which is to create jobs and make more money, and there's nothing wrong with being successful. Let's get that straight. Being successful is what America is about. It's what, if you're from England, if that's what it's where you live, that's what it's about as well, or whatever country you live in. Um, but this idea, let's, let's go back to why this, there's a huge fallacy in this. Let's take the federal government, for instance. The federal government, for every $3 we currently spend right now, currently spend, we borrow $1. So 25%, and these are rough numbers, we borrow. Now, everyone's like, well, you know, we'll pay it back. Well, let's think about this. Let's imagine you make $40,000 a year, and then you get taxed on that, and you basically have, if you're in a 25% tax bracket, you have $30,000 of disposable income. Well, let's say not only... Do you have $30,000 of disposable income? 
after you pay your taxes and everything, you're going to turn around and spend 50000 Does that Does that work? It may work for a year, not very well. It may work for two years, but it does not work. It is not sustainable. So my point is, well, I've got several points. <laughs> my point is, the federal government is the worst person to give your money to to spend it the right way. Look at the post office. Failed. Medicare, Medicaid, failed, bankrupt. I mean, they're basically bankrupt, guys. I mean, these are institutions created by the federal government with good intentions that are bankrupt. They do not work. Um, so why would you, in fact, give the federal government your money? I liken it to the fact that, you know, when the government comes after you asking for more taxes, imagine this. Imagine you going to your employer saying... Um, currently I make $30,000 or f let's go back to $40,000 a year. I don't think that's fair. So you go into your boss's office and you say, I think I can spend your money better than you can and you need to give me a raise to $50,000 a year so I can afford the crap I'm spending money on. Do you think that would work? Do you think that makes any sort of sense? Because that's what the federal government is saying. The federal government is saying, because the federal government works for you, they're coming into your home, into your office, right now, and saying, right now, you're only paying me $40,000 a year. And you know what? I can do better than that with your money. You need to give me a raise to $50,000 a year so I can spend it on programs that currently don't work, and I've proven myself to be a bad employee because right now I'm spending more money than you pay me anyway. So, <laughs> this in my mind, is so frustrating. Now, I don't know, you know, some people, I believe, have this, and I think the federal government's one of them, have this idea of entitlement. And this is this does not go Democrat, Republican, trust me. I mean, we have Democrats in power in the, in the executive branch now, and in the re House, um, you know, we have Republicans in charge, and the Senate, Republic, or Democrats are in charge. This has been going on for the last 10 years, people. This is not something that is brand stinking new here. This has been going on forever. So just think about that. Um, would you go up to someone that you work for currently, say you make $10 an hour, and pretend you're a bad employee. I'm sure you're not, but pretend you're a bad employee. Shows up when you want to. Um, when, when you're supposed to be there, you, you, you're there, but you don't really work. And going into your boss's office and saying, you know what? You're not doing very well with your money. In fact, I think I can do better with your money, so you need to give me a raise. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I think, you know, inherently, it's just how I was brought up. I was brought up that hard work is is vital to succeed in anything, whether you're good or not. You could be the smartest person in the class. You still have to apply yourself. You still have to uh, have hard work. You have to have work ethic. Uh, my grandfather instilled that in me uh, when we'd go work on the farm. My father instilled that in me. There is no shortcut to hard work. You cannot beat it. So, guys, I, <laughs> this is just something that's really been bothering me. If you don't like it, dislike the video, tell me why. That's fine. I, you know, I'm not, I haven't made any money on YouTube anyway, so it doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't offend me if people dislike my videos. Uh, if you do like it, like it. If you, if you just think I'm crazy on sub, and uh, if you think it's worthwhile, go ahead and share it with your friends. Um, but that's my theory on government and uh, trying to apply it in a practical approach to something that you know most people can understand. Well, I, say most, I think you probably understand it anyway, but it's a good way to you know, break it down for people so they understand what, in fact, is actually going on when the government comes after your money. And that's the, that's the biggest problem people have. It's your money. It's not the government's money. So take care as always, guys. This is Stonepost34.